Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I have so many new makeup pieces to try and review with you. I've got the new eyeshadow palette from Mario, Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Palette Neutral. I have the new hyper powders from YSL. So you've got a bronzer and you've got a finishing powder. I have the new lipstick from Huda Beauty, the full filter in shade Bombshell. I've got the new beige lipstick collection from Prada that came out literally just last month and so many other products. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, so let's get straight into it. I did my skincare. I've applied my sun protection, my SPF 50. Um, I've learned a thing yesterday. I went to um, an event in London with uh, Face of the Future. So it's focus on skincare product mainly. There's a bit of makeup, but the makeup is mixed with skincare. And the reason why you should be applying your, your sunscreen every day, even when it's winter, even when it's raining and you're spending the whole day inside in the office, um, that is because the UVA ray are passing through the clouds, the windows and your clothes. So to protect your skin and this is what really causes damage to your skin. The UVB are the ones that are burning your skin and giving you the color. But the UVA are the one accelerating the aging of the skin and causing a lot of damage. So please people, just put your sunscreen. So um now back to makeup i'm gonna come with i really like this primer so the forever veal velvet primer from dior and also i've stopped at dior again yesterday and i picked up a few other pieces of the new collection because they are limited edition um so i picked up whatever other shades i didn't have and i feel like I need to stock up on them because I really like the product. Honestly, they were so far behind in having some liquid blushes, bronzer, um, um, the star filter. So I, I picked up different shade um, to add to my collection. So I am pressing my primer into my skin because this really really helps to minimize the appearance of your pores we all have pores it's all pretty normal this is how your skin breathes that's how the toxins come out but this is just a little trick uh, if you have very large pore and you're looking for a way of minimizing your pores use a primer that has silicone base press it onto your skin when you apply it and use a foundation that is matte so that's gonna be a very big help and also mattifying powders loose powder that will make a very big difference for the foundation i have the ysl all hours it's a luminous matte foundation such a good product and this the range of of color of shade is unbelievable um i'm anyone will find a shade that that's really tailored for everyone i am now using medium neutral four i had another one but it was light neutral eight but it's too light for my skin tone and I've always tried to build it up obviously you can use it in different places on your face um, but it's just not it wasn't just giving the, a good enough result so and I'm coming with a dense brush this brush is so old I wash it but I think it's just stained in it now the the color is just not coming off so it is clean it's not dirty and when you apply a foundation that is matte, and if you want to minimize again the look of your pores, press it onto your skin instead of just brushing it over. It's gonna make a very big difference because you're pushing it into your skin, into the pores. 
Um, maybe a little bit more about this foundation while I finish the other side of my face. It is a very all day long wear foundation and that is absolutely true. Um, it completely dries on your face. It doesn't stay dewy or kind of humid or sticky, which I'm a big fan if you if you've been following me in a, in a few of my videos now, I'm quite vocal about having a nice matte luminous foundation. Uh, you know, if it's windy and your hair just get stuck into your foundation, it's never a good sign. In my in my opinion and in my preference. So, all day long wear, full coverage. It is definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, you obviously can build it up um, but you do not need much i do two pumps and i do my whole face so that's pretty good it is breathable believe it or not even though it's full coverage it's matte it still feels very light on the skin which is i don't know the technology and foundation now is just it just kind of blows my mind a little bit but yeah so very breathable um and i don't and it says kutsu finish i don't know what kutsu finish means i think it means it's that velvety luminous matte look but they have done a very good job at reformulating this formula this foundation because this is not necessarily a new product it's been around for a while and when it relaunched last year it is a new formula of what they used to have um, in my opinion, this is one of the best foundation you can have on the market. If you're, if you're liking that matte, luminous matte foundation, um, type, especially now that summer, spring summer is coming. I, I don't know. I feel like you want to have that velvety, nice skin and, and not that dewy, very sticky, foundation because it's gonna get warmer it's gonna get hot and it just feels like your makeup's melting a little bit for the concealer i will do some color correcting i'm really sorry about the lighting the sun keeps coming in and out of the cloud so it's i really struggle today with the light um but anyway let's carry on so color correcting i'm using the huda beauty full filter corrector and this is shade pink pomelo so i you really don't need much i just put some a small dot here and same on the other side where i have a little bit more of a dark circle just just a little bit just to kind of take away that darkness or the the purpleness of the dark circle And you just gently spread it out. It's very liquid, so it's super easy to blend. Just like so. If I come closer, see? You just go over your dark circle that are usually more concentrated under your the corner of the eye here. I don't come under here because I like to keep that natural shadow it looks better when you you do your eye makeup because necessarily you'll come and add some eyeshadow powder anyway under so for me there's no point of putting concealer there and <clears throat> the more concealer you wear the more it's going to crease it's just the more chances it has to crease so for me a little goes a long way and then for the concealer itself, I'm using the Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape Radiant. This is such a good concealer. Um, it is full coverage. It is not too dry, not too creamy. Um, it's really buildable. So if you choose your shades wisely, you could literally use that as your foundation if you have two shades one light one more dark um this could be just concealer all over so 
I will use a small brush and just spread it out. And it's very, very thin. See, super easy to blend. And small tapping motion. I'm on the side of the nose. And here, because you always have a little bit more of a shadow in the corner of the eye. And I just stretch it out to bring luminosity on the side. Because you have your bone here, your cheekbone that kind of goes up. So I just bring my concealer on top. Now let's powder the concealer. I'm using the Prisme Libre Voile Rosé from Givenchy. It's definitely one of the best powders out there. I always use a little powder puff and I press first the powder onto the back of my hand into the powder puff and then I come under my eye. For the eyeshadow, I'm using the new Makeup by Mario palette, the Master, the Neutral. I mean, look at these babies. It's, it's such a good palette. It's got all the colors. It's made for warm and cool tones, all matte. Um, this is such a practical palette. I have played with it a little bit and I'm just so impressed. Um, it's really long lasting. They're not too dry. Um, Patrick Ta has a few palettes that are quite similar to Makeup by Mario. Patrick Ta are even more creamy, uh, but this is more in the middle. It's, it's just a really, really good palette. So if you're looking to, to buy a neutral palette, this is literally, go for it. That, that's a go-to. You're going to use it every day. You've got everything to do a soft look or a full glam look, everything is in there. Um, all the colors are there ready for you. So, so let's let's use a few shades for today. Let's create kind of a soft, just everyday kind of look and see how it turns out. So I'm gonna come and use this light beige color to come all over my eyelid, just like so. And it really just blends like a dream. And they are very, you can have, if you could choose to do just a very soft look, but you can build them. That That's what's really good with this eyeshadow palette. And I like to start with a pale color like this because it really just neutralize the colors of your skin we all have a bit of redness you know it's just the the skin is so thin on your mobile lid that it's just very much normal i'm gonna change my brush and i'm gonna use this it's more of a pink beige pink to come and over into the crease Instantly just add a pop of color, add some definition. They're so easy to work with. Like I am a very big fan. I have the um, Ethereal palette as well. And it's the same thing. They are just such good palette. They work for everyday look, soft glam, full glam. Um, and I really feel like everyone can use them. I'm going to keep the same brush and I'll use this shade here. It's more of a brown, warm brown to come really up in the crease to add more definition. I just, I'm amazed on how easy they are to work with. 
all the shades are blending into each other. They are not patchy at all. Um, that is a very, very good palette. And honestly, even if you're a beginner at makeup, um, you can create so many looks with it. It's so such a versatile palette. Um, it's yeah, I'm sold. And I paid for it. Like they didn't send it to me. It's not a PR. It's not anything I've purchased with my own money. Um, but this is, it's a product that really just works. So with that same brown, I'm gonna come just under the eye, under the lash line. And I absolutely want to try this. It's kind of a blue lilac shade. So I'm gonna come and add it in the corner, outer corner. And add just, oh, how beautiful is this? We just add a pop of vibrant color. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And like you saw, it's not long to do. It's very easy. You can do a look like that in 10 minutes uh, with a little bit of practice. And that's kind of easy to do during the week. And to finish, I just want to add some of that very light, light shade just inside here. And just bring back some brightness, just like so. You see instantly the difference. Just blend it with the other colors and voila. So I'm going to do my eyeliner, mascara, and I will be back. Eyeliner, mascara is done. I'm still using my Chanel Lash and Care Volume Primer every day. I really, really like this product. Um, you know, it's one of those things that you don't know if it's actually going to work, but I think it's really making a difference in protecting my eyelashes. Um, and I've used Monsieur Big from Lancome. Um, it's giving volume. It's not necessarily giving the most length, but it's definitely giving volume. And I've done my eyeliner. You know, eyeliner, it's one thing. Sometimes it works out well, sometimes not so much. Today, mm, not so much, but it is what it is. <laughs> and I am using the Tom Ford. That's the only one I have. Um, so eyes are done. Oh, and I've added ad on the uh, inside the lower waterline. Just a little bit of that beige pencil from Charlotte Tilbury, just to open and brighten your eye. I'm really happy with the eye look. I think it's natural. It's still not too much for daytime, but it's it's really nice and it's matte, it's soft. Um, if you remove the eyeliner and just use a normal pencil, it's gonna give you even more softer look. So happy days. Um, Right, let's come with the new YSL powder. So excited for this. It's the All Hours Hyper Bronze. I'm using shade number two. Um, they are made from, I, I believe it's 90% of derived natural ingredients. Um, most, most cosmetic companies now are embracing that more natural ingredients in their product. And I'm quite happy with this. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite happy. I think it does make a nice difference. Um, it's supposed to be very, it's a long wear powder. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it should be somewhat hydrating even though if it sounds maybe a bit bizarre for a powder, but it's not going to be drying your skin. Um, so, and it's completely matte. There's absolutely no shimmer in it. And it, this is shade number two. So I'm gonna use a loose brush. It does come with the applicator that is more of a sponge. 
but I think to apply a bronzer, I much prefer to have a loose brush to give that more of a diffuse look. Oops. It really just warms up the skin nicely. Um, I didn't want to go too dark. Because otherwise I feel like you have such a big difference with your skin tone. Um, and this is just perfect for this time of the year now. It blurs the pores. It kind of mattify a bit the skin, but mattify and beautify. So I'm going to come down on the side of the face. Like so. How it's beautiful. It's giving really that healthy, nice look. A little bit on the nose. Define the uh, jawline. It's really nice. This is such a good powder. This is really going to stay on the top drawer, I can promise you. Um, I'm liking lately the YSL product. They have changed their formula and this is amazing. Like... You can see it still look really natural. It's matte, but it's not dull. It's still quite luminous. Now, this is in the same new collection they've recently launched. All Hours Hyper Finish. This is a powder, a compact powder that comes with the little sponge as well. Um, I've put it on the sponge once to kind of test it. Not a fan of those little sponge. Um, it kind of really rubs onto your your foundation under and it kind of takes away all the makeup you have and it turns a bit I think it, it just doesn't good it doesn't give a good result so I'm gonna come with a brush it's a little bit more dense but completely flat I'm gonna come and apply it just here it's completely mattifying the skin completely and this is shade number two as well This is beautiful. So same, same idea made from natural ingredients packed with hyaluronic acid that helps to not dry the skin, blurs the pores, definitely blurs the pores. You can't see anything. I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. And it really feels like I've got nothing on my skin. Hands down, one of the best powder. Definitely. And you still have your bronzer. It blends with it seamlessly. This is really, really nice. It's just giving that soft, matte, luminous look that I really 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 like and you know when you have a soft matte look like this you can have you know a very nice gloss or something more heavy on the eyes it just allows you to play a little bit more with other texture because if you have a very dewy foundation um and then you've got some highlighter and then you've got some sparkles on your eyes and then you've got some gloss i feel like it's a bit much uh, for a day-to-day -day kind of look. That's just my opinion. We're all different and we all like different things, different looks. Uh, but I think this is more of a everyone can wear that type of look. So these two pattern from YSL, the Hyper Bronze and the Hyper Finish. A big, big yes for these two powders. So I'm going to stay in that semi-matte kind of look for today and I'm going to use this uh, blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Sex on Fire. It's called Cheek to Chic. Um, yeah, it's a swish and pop blusher. So you mix the two shades together. And you... It's very, very natural. It just really adds 
just to add a little bit of color. You see, and just giving you that nice natural flush of color. And again, I am tapping and pressing onto my skin and I'm not rubbing because I don't want to disturb all the product under. Just, just a little bit of color. All blends in really, really nicely. And I never come too close in the center of the face here um, because I like to keep that more elongate and snatch <laughs> maybe lack for of a better word snatch look that really kind of shape your face outwards when you apply blush completely here in the middle of the apple of your cheek especially if it's a bright pink color um it will give you that illusion of a bigger cheek to start with um and it's going to give you that very youthful look so if you want to look younger, by all means, concentrate the product here, but it also gives the impression of a bigger cheek. It's giving volume. Um, so for me, maybe not the best placement, um, because if you want to have something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more chic, you want to have that, that look that just opens and lift the cheek you need to apply on the outer um, side of the cheek on a upward motion i'm gonna stay with charlotte tilbury to add just a little bit just a little bit of highlighter um so i'm going to use this palette this is not new but this is such a good palette to have in your makeup kit it's a beautiful beautifying face palette um this palette can be used for cheeks eyes body whatever you want um and it's shade pillow talk fair medium um so i'm gonna use just this one for today and literally come on the top of the cheek just to add a bit of reflection and dimension it's a very subtle pop of highlighter but you can see the shimmer it's very soft and I'm gonna add some just here and on the bridge of the nose so this is just to reflect the light on the bridge of the nose don't want to add too much because then it's just shining voila for the lips i've got these two new products that i am dying to try i picked them up at harrods yesterday um I think I'm thinking of making like a vlog type thing video of a day out in Harrods and the event. I treat myself to a nice little new pair of shoes at Chanel so we can unbox that together. And you know, just to show you around, I went to Cafe Prada. It was such a nice day out. So um these two products, so the Prada lipstick, so Prada launched its skincare um its cosmetic line a few months back i've never tried them i've never tried any products so i picked up the newest uh, lipstick shade that are just nude um there's quite a few one of them and they were kind enough to give me some foundation as well because i wanted to try it out before i purchased the foundation um and then i stopped at huda beauty to try the new full filter lip gloss so let's try the prada lipstick this is a refillable lipstick and depending on the finish of your lipstick this middle part here will change color so this is matte 
but if you have a more satin finish this will be gold and it's a magnetic cap like so and if you look here at the back you can't really see it now this is the your shade the, this is the original color you've purchased so if you change and refill for a different color you always know which one was the original and it's got a, a weird usually you've got that pointy top but this is like it's like their bag it's the same shape it's kind of a flat triangle so we're gonna i don't have anything on my lips no liner i'm gonna come closer to you guys and we're gonna try this one so it's it's a very it's a very luxurious product it's got quite quite a bit in it um and very easy to refill you just remove the, the inside and then you insert the new lipstick afterwards it smells really good oh this is such a nice nude color. It's kind of a blushy pink. This is gorgeous. It really gives that impression of volume to your lip. What do you guys think? I really like this kind of color. Um, I think it needs a lip liner, but I wanted to try it first without the lip liner. It feels almost like a lip balm because it's so it's so soft on the lip, it's so light, you really don't feel it. It's like you've just applied your 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 Vaseline or just your overnight lip balm. And it really just sits nicely on the lips. It doesn't go into the fine lines. It just blends seamlessly. That is a really, really nice lipstick. And this is what, I think it's 35 pounds. So a bit cheaper than Chanel and Westman Atelier. And honestly, they are all very good comparable. Um, they're all very, they are high-end product. They are luxury items. But for what I'm feeling now on my lips, I'm really, really happy. There's so many colors. Um, I might pick up a few more shades for spring and, and summer. So before we go in with the full filter lip gloss, I want to overline my lip a little bit. I'm going to use the Chantecai lip definer. This is shade discreet. It's a really good color. Just a nice soft touch. That we're adding on so I've overlined my lips um, I didn't blend it completely because it's going to blend with the gloss otherwise I would have touched it and make sure that it's not just a line um, so now let's see so this is the newest lipstick lip gloss from Huda Beauty this is shade bombshell um, they are supposed to be recreating that filter in your lip. You know, when you get your lips done, you've got your fillers. It's kind of a, a fuller look. Uh, the applicator is flat on both sides. It's kind of a triangle and it has quite a good amount of product on it. Oh, and it smells like cupcake. It smells of vanilla. This is really nice. Oh, the color. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It really matches with, I could have gone darker with the lip liner because now it's pretty much the same color. This is a really, really, really nice lip gloss. So 
let the hair down now that the makeup is done look at this lip gloss it really gives that full filter look it's really glossy obviously if it's super windy outside your hair is gonna go on your lip gloss and be there forever but i am loving this shade it's not too dark it's not too light and it doesn't come and crease on the fine lines of your lips which for me it is so important if you're going to wear a gloss that has colors color in it and it just sits on the fine lines of your lip and then it just kind of separates um it's just a waste of money it doesn't really look good so this one oh my god and it's not sticky it's very very soft it feels hydrating and with the prada under it just gives that nice tint to your lip i think it needs a darker lip liner like a, a mauvey shade to really have a contrast but I am very, very, very happy with the look. So this is the final look for today. Um, I'm really happy with all the product. Um, everything turned out to be such a great purchase. Um, definitely product that I will keep reaching for. Um, the powder, the, the finishing powder from YSL. I mean, look at how it just blurs all of your pores and yet it's not matte it's something that i really really like it is matte but it's not dull and remove all dimension of your face the eyeshadow palette it's not creasing you can see not a single crease and i do have fine lines because i've got a very thin skin um, so I'm a good guinea pig to try those products and I can tell you right away if something's going to crease or not. Um, it's not creasing at all. Same for the, the um, concealer. Like, I have fine lines because, well, I'm pregnant and things changes and you've got wrinkles and I can't do any Botox and all of that thing. Um, and I have no problem to say that I am doing Botox and fillers. Um, whatever works for you works for you you know we're not here to judge um, and I keep it quite natural as well but it's not creasing in my fine lines so this is very good and yeah I really like that overall kind of healthy look um, not too much for a day during the week you know I could you know get away with maybe not doing the grocery but you know running errands or you just feel like adding a pop of color into your makeup routine this is really nice um lipstick i am sold absolutely sold so guys i hope you loved watching and enjoyed watching this video for today if you have any questions um comments please put them down below in the comment section if you haven't done it yet you can you should register and subscribe to my youtube channel you'll hit the notification bell and then whenever i post a new video you will get a notification and let's keep the conversation going guys let me know what new product i should be trying if you want me to try a look um anything and also follow me on social media thank you very much for watching